A massive political controversy has erupted in Telangana after six-time AIMIM MLA. Akbaruddin Oasi's appointment as a pro tem speaker has come to light. The notice issued by the governor's office said that Akbaruddin Oasi will perform duties of the speaker till a speaker is elected in the Telangana Assembly and that MLAs will take oath before him. However, the appointment has been slammed by the BJP with BJP's Gosha Mahal MLA T. Raja Singh saying that he won't take the MLA's oath before Akbaruddin as a speaker. The BJP said that this proves that Congress government led by Raven Freddy is in cahoots with the MIM. Congress government has made a special deal for that that yesterday, Agubaruddin Ovesi ke samak sabhi log shabad grahan samaro mein sammil thunge. Ye Raja Singh jab tak jinda hai, ye MIM ke saamne shabad nahi lega. Aaj mein Congress ke Mukhya Mantri Raven Freddy se puchna chahunga Remember, the pro-tem speaker serves a temporary role officiating the assembly session until the newly elected members are sworn in and a speaker is elected. Once the assembly speaker is elected, the pro-tem speaker's duties end. The Congress party is hit back at the BJP saying that the appointment has happened in accordance with rules and that everyone has to follow it. Congress also dared the BJP government at the centre to outlaw the MIM if it feels that the party should be prohibited. Congress's ally, the CPM, has also echoed the same, saying that it was cheap to say that one would not take oath before a certain speaker. We Congress party strongly condemn the Raja Singh saying, he says that, uh, uh, and he, that fellow, he doesn't want to take the oath, he says that. So, uh, every elected member has to take the oath and it, ha it has to be given by the uh, pro tem speaker only. They have to take. So, it's uh, as per the Indian constitution, the rule is rule and everyone should follow that. And if he thinks that MIM is a prohibited party, then why Bhatia Janta party is not taking action against that? You're watching the News Hour at 10, debate number two on Times Now, Super Prime Time. All right, for more of this, let's go right across to our guest. Joining us with us is Dr. Guru Prakash Paswan, national spokesperson of the BJP. Alurag Naidu, author, is with us. With us also is Shujat Ali, spokesperson of the Telangana Pradesh Congress Committee. With us is advocate Adil Hussain, who is also a spokesperson of MIM. Rekha Rao is leader of the BRS. Let me start first and foremost uh, with the Congress spokesperson, Shujat Ali. The allegation coming in from Raja Singh of the BJP is that earlier we had seen how the BRS and the MIM was said to be won by Revant Reddy. He says, why is the same MIM now being given a chance? That's a word coming in from Raja Singh and he's threatening to even boycott the, uh, the oath-taking ceremony. How do you react to this, Shujatari? I am extremely sorry. Raja Singh is totally immature. This, this, this practice is being uh, utilized because of Parliament Act. Whoever is senior most uh, member of any house will become pro tem speaker. It is the question of constitution of India. It is not the uh, liking of any individual. Uh, last time Mr. Mumtaz Khan was the uh, pro tem speaker and long back uh, MIM chief Salauddin Ovesi was pro tem speaker. And today, Akbaruddin Ovesi has been uh, selected to act as pro tem speaker. He will be given the oath by the governor appointed by the central government. So you are insulting the, uh, you know, uh, the chair of the governor. Right. Let me get in Guru Prakash Paspan. It's nothing but an insult to the chair of the speaker, of the governor, etc. Because these are long established parliamentary practices that Mr. Raja Singh is questioning only for his political purposes, says Sujat Ali. Please respond to him. No, no, Madhav, I think we need to understand a couple of things because uh, the Congress party throughout in the campaign and uh, has been traditionally saying that uh, A team, B team, C team of the BJP, so now it's sufficiently clear. And as far as the practice or the convention is concerned, the discretion uh, is of the uh, senior most uh, leader of the uh, assembly. But as the Congress party, the with the number of MLAs they have in the house, they have the wisdom. They could have chosen anyone. But as far as the mindset of the Congress party is concerned, this shows yet another step towards politics of minority appeasement. 
on the one hand you will say that uh, bjp and mim working together and on the other hand I'm, if you are having a congress I'm, and an mim gadjod in the I'm, I'm telangana assembly that is definitely sorry. questionable <laughs> are you suggesting that there are no senior leader in the congress party who is qualified no to be a pro tem speaker this is of course article 99 in the constitution refers to the pro tem speaker but this is more than a rule a practice from the best of my understanding it is a tradition is there a rule or a law that says this has to be the case mr shujat ali please educate us inform us since you said this is part of an act see mr sultan salauddin owaisi was also pro tem speaker at that time he won the assembly election six time Hmm. Then last time 2018, Mr. Mumtaz Khan of same I am, hmm. M I am was hmm. made the pro tem speaker. Hmm. Now senior most MLA is Akbaruddin Owaisi. How can we do? How can we you know uh, have appeasement? We are uh, we are, we are, we have fought the elections against them. Guru Prakash, it is a long established custom and it's a fact because this is not just about uh, Telangana, but even in other assemblies, it is a senior most. who is normally called as a pro tem speaker it's in any case just a temporary post to ensure that all take oath and to ensure that there is some kind of a semblance of order and this is an established practice because even uh, in uh, karnataka which was bjp ruled uh, in the last term it was a pro tem speaker was the senior most who is normally given that post so there's nothing new that's what uh, uh, the congress is saying please respond madhav, to that i think madhav i think Madhav, I think uh, this decision is a reflection of the wisdom and discretion of the Congress Party. Is the Congress Party spokesperson suggesting that there are no Congress leader who are uh, senior most in this house? What are you trying to indicate? Who are the Who are the Congress leaders with six terms? Guru Prakash. As far as the law is concerned, at what what who determines seniority? On what basis do you determine seniority? Number That is terms. a simple question. Number of if terms. If you are such a scholar of constitution, if you are such a scholar of convention, who determines? Who determines it? Number of terms as a legislator, sir. That is a that is the measure of seniority. You are it? insulting governor office, also, my dear friend. You are insulting yes, governor right office right by questioning this appointment. No, no, no. I think governor governor will not accept if it is not under the law. Okay. Okay, let's go one by one. Anurag Naidu, I want to bring in Anurag Naidu on this now. Anurag Naidu, your response to Shujaat Ali, and then I go across to our other panelists as well. Madhav, uh, you have mentioned it very clearly. It is not about the law; it is about the practice. Now, 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 practice. It's a question of morality, Madhav. When you say all the hangama buzz, lakhs of people, you say it is prajala telangana. When you say prajala telangana, it's about morality. Do you really feel morally it is correct as a symbolically? That you have somebody like Mr. Akbar Abdin Oisi on the chair or pro tem, pro tem speaker. I know it's it's for a time period. It's for a very short duration, but it is symbolic, Madam. Mm. When the members of the minister take oath, it is very symbolic that the chair has the highest dignity. Mm. And with speeches that Mr. Akbar Abdin Oisi made in the past, I don't want to take political stand, but it is deplorable. It is communal. It is calling names uh, to hurting the religious sentiment. And then tell me if I'm wrong on any of my word. Let me bring in Advocate Adil Hasan. Adil, Advocate Adil Hasan. क्या ये कॉलेज की दोस्ती की वजह से उनको दिया गया प्रोटेम स्पीकरशिप क्योंकि चुनाव के दौरान तो पूरी तरह अटैक कर रहे थे अकबर उद्दीन ओवैसी को अब क्या हृदय परिवर्तन हुआ लोग पूछ रहे हैं एडवोकेट हसन आपकी लाइन बिल्कुल साफ नहीं जस्ट गुड ट्राई एंड रिकनेक्ट योर लाइन सर बिकॉज वी कॉन्ट अंडरस्टैंड एनीथिंग यूर सेइंग पर लेट मी टेक द क्वेश्चन ओवर टू रेखा राव रेखा राव डू सी दैट देयर इज सम काइंड ऑफ चेंज ऑफ हार्ट ऑन पार्ट ऑफ द कांग्रेस विद दिस अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ द प्रोटेम स्पीकर और डू थिंक इज जस्ट बिजनेस एज यूजल हाउ डू यू व्यू दिस इट इज it is the worst decision traditionally the mla with the highest number of legislative term is selected here it is not only oic we have other people for example we have former speaker pocharam mm. srinivas Uh, almost eight years. Then we have Dhanam Nagendra Nagendram Talsani Srinivas Yadav. We have who have equal or more than OIC's tenure. Then again, when we talk about Congress, we have Uttam Kumar and uh, Nageshwar Rao Tumala. Mm. So people are there. Now the question arises: Do we need a person who is more than a political person? Is a person who always believes and who always gives speech, uh, hate speeches? 
if you go to the google if you just search how horribly how terribly how badly he talks about hinduism he talks about lakshmi's he talks about saraswati's who gave the right in fact the people like these they should be hanged i don't know whether it is no, no, okay let's, to let's, speak let's, like let's, this let's, no no please 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 no, let's not, not done. let's yeah, not I'm let's not talk about extra judicial measures because there will be there will be no end to this okay. i'm just requesting you please yeah, okay, let's be mindful of our language you're all responsible like folks persons let's not how do this please okay, uh, i appeal to but how come they have the people like him he whether it is for one day or 10 days but ma'am why was bihar is tied up with mim then extreme people will ask why is bihar is tied up with mim last five years please tell us once again once again mr shrad i'm going to come to i'm going to come to mr shrad because she's caught you on a technical point but i want to ask her i want to ask i want to ask rekha rao rekha rao on your national channel one second sir one second sir let's let's i have i have i have in fact clarified that we will not we will not allow such comments we are not going to allow such comments national channel shall i shall i shall i think that you are also part and parcel of bjp agenda who oh, i am not allowing this i am not allowing this who is allowing that the people they want a person who is ah, you should not you allow that person so i have yes, told her not to say it, but, but let her suspended him. by the bjp for his nonsense ka, uh, comments uh, against prophet mohammed Yes, but and without any explanation, he was given the ticket. No, the, suspe- no, no the, the suspension was revoked without any, uh, you know, explanation. What nonsense we are talking! Why you are dividing India into communal Who's communism? Don't don't do that. Please he save our country. He is dividing India. He has divided the religion. Uh, you you, you are dividing how India how by saying all well, those uh, nonsense that, comments. Okay, I am extremely sorry, Madhav. One by one, one by one, one by one, one by one. Please, please, let's calm. Down, calm down calm down let's not let's not get let's not get worked up rekha all the questions still remains shujaat ali please allow me to conduct this debate i'm going to give you a chance also to respond to her uh, rekha all the questions still remains please if this person please, is someone please. who has made such controversial comments then why is it that mim was still tied up with the brs you may not have had a formal alliance but informally you were together and for all practical purposes you fought the elections also together here we are talking about a position and he is not fit when we have the people with the same tenure why this guy we don't mind if we have a one of the people a people with personality sujata ali respond character. to that she has given at least four names of mr pocharam no mr t shrivas yadav mr uttam reddy and she says there are many who are having many as many or more terms then why pick akbaruddin oc i think that's a fair question please respond absolutely. to that question sujata ali absolutely see this this gentleman said that uh, mr revant reddy will not become the chief minister any time in the history of india he became the chief minister so still still you think that he they are friends politically people will meet many sir, people you said many senior most are close she has given you three names of people who are equally or more senior so therefore the senior most yes, uh, uh, senior I'm, most I'm, rule has not applied in this case see this cost please dispute her facts no, no, no. if you factually feel she is wrong please dispute if her you want to no no you 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 ask no no they should ask the governor of this state why she has allowed him to become the proto speaker she is going to give oath to him why mm. why she was allowed it's not no, the government she is not the government's decision it's the, the, the governor's government. decision you are saying let them ask her it's not the government's decision it's the governor's decision that's what you are saying shujaat ali yes 100% okay, okay. many hands going up many hands going up anurag naidu go- anurag naidu not the government's fault the governor's fault says shujaat ali of the congress please respond madha 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 very good point madha let's record this thing let mr shujaat ali statement let's record this and let's keep it for 5 years no, no, will they reach out to the governor for every decision that the government makes will they go for the final consent and listen to the governor please make it on record please make it on record that you respect the chair of the governor for the next 5 years you are government is going to go to the governor for a final consent without the consent of the governor you are not going to take any decision let's let's have it on record for 5 years it's going to be wonderful tell you for you congress i think i had so for you I number 2 madhav it's about it's about the respect the one commands not only the religious speeches and the hate speeches whatever it is huh. it is also the system the gentleman holds over the system in many times they said i'm about the system many times when you kiran kumar reddy was the chief minister i said do minute a police ta diye main bata dunga kaun so hmm. when you don't exhibit that kind of a responsibility and respect for the system hmm. i think it is also voluntarily mr akbar din oveshi would have said okay thank you but no thank you i don't want to be there it, it would have been more gentleman i mean madhav if you remember the protem speaker debate in karnataka election it was mr arvind deshpande back in back in the days when congress bjp thing was going on 
both BJP and Congress agreed that he is the best person suited for the protein speaker at this point in time. Mm. That is the kind of respect one is supposed to command. Right. So you don't need to have a debate about this position. Okay. It have been a consensus. Very, yeah, yeah. All right. Let me let me bring in now Advocate Adil Hassan. Advocate Adil Hassan, Saval Utre, BRSK, Rapsi, Akburudin, Oisito, Subse, Senior, Nay, or Log, who are more senior than him. Then why has he been made protein speaker? Is a question that's being asked by both the BJP and the BRS today. Madam. पह, पहली बात कि अकबर ओवैसी साहब एक लाख वोट लाए हैं भाजपा को इसलिए बेचैनी है कि भाजपा हरा नहीं पाई और तीसरे पोजीशन पे रही है इसलिए ऑब्जेक्ट कर रहे हैं मैं, मैं, पहले पहले भी आपको बोलता हूं कि इनको इनको मुसलमान भारतीय मुसलमान से दिक्कत है विदेश में मोदी जी मुसलमानों से गले लगाते हैं कतर में लगाते हैं सऊदी में लगाते हैं और बीआरएस की मैडम से यह क्या ये के साहब की बोली है के साहब की बोली है कि क्या ये हरीश राव साहब की बोली है मोहतरमा को तो पहली बार मैं देख रहा हूँ की आरोप एक मिनट आज एम आई एम के चलते पंद्रह सीट जीती है ये इनको और के सी आर साहब जब बैरिस्टर साहब को गले लगा रहे हैं और के डी आर साहब लगा रहे हैं तो मैडम कहा ये बेचैनी हो रही है आपको मुसलमानों से उल्फत की कमी क्यों आ रही है अरे आराम कीजिए थोड़ा बीजेपी को दिक्कत है आप उस राह में क्यों चल रही है बीजेपी तो भारतीय मुसलमान से उसको दूरिया है अकबर ओवैसी साहब को जब हिंदू और मुसलमान दोनों ने वोट दिया है ओके आप हैदराबाद में माधव सब आए आपने देखा है जी मैं मैं एक सवाल जरूर पूछूंगा ऑफकोर्स गुरु प्रकाश पासवान यू हैव एडवोकेट आदिल हसन हुसैन की आपको बेचैनी हो रही है क्योंकि एक लाख वोट से अकबरुद्दीन ओवैसी जीते हैं बट द क्वेश्चन दैट विल ऑल्सो बी आज जस्ट एज यू आर अक्यूजिंग मिस्टर अकबरुद्दीन ओवैसी ऑफ स्प्रेडिंग हेट स्पीच दे कैन वेरी वेल टर्न आउट एंड आस्क यू वॉट एव यू डन टू राजा सिंह You have suspended him for a year and then given a ticket and made him contest this election. But he has given statement after statement. I think there were about two dozen FIRs against him, if I'm not mistaken, maybe more. Maybe I think I'm quoting a lesser figure. So, Guru Prakash Paswan, there's also a question about why you are asking a person to contest who has made so many commonly charged statements in the past. Madhav, two very brief points and a response to Adil Hussain ji. Adil Hussain ji, if you allow me, look, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh and Rajasthan should be able to see the results. And where there are minority votes, there are also Muslim votes, they are completely in the same way with the Bharat Party. In Jammu and Kashmir, there was a Muslim vote with the Bharat Party. Where were you from? I think that you should see it. When there was a Bharat Party, when APJ Abdul... अब्दुल कलाम जी को जब राष्ट्रपति बनाया गया तो किसने बनाया था तो बार बार धर्म के नाम पे जाति के नाम पे ये उन्माद फैलाने का काम मत करिए आप लोग एम को अच्छी तरह से जानते हैं आपके पार्टी का फुल फॉर्म जो है वही एक धब्बा है कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ मुस्लिम इन क्या होता है और आप सेक्युलरिज्म की बात करते हैं तो मुझे लगता है आपको आत्मंथन करने की आवश्यकता है एंड एज फार एज द क्वेश्चन ऑफ राजा सिंह इज कंसर्न वी विल से एंड वी हैव सेड इट बिफोर एज वेल देर इज जुडिशियल प्रोसेस वी टुक एन एक्शन देन ही केम बैक ही कॉन्टेस्टेड एनी वन इट इज ऑफ द पीपल वुड एज वन आई डोंट थिंक एज फार एज तेलंगाना इज कंसर्न आवर कैंडिडेट डिफीटेड बोथ द सिटिंग एंड पोटेंशियल चीफ मिनिस्टर सिटिंग एंड पोटेंशियल चीफ मिनिस्टर वॉज डिफीटेड बाई अ भारतीय जनता पार्टी कैंडिडेट नॉट राजा सिंह समान एल्स बट Allow advocate Adil Hasan to respond to you because he's not got that time. Almost out of time. Adil Hasan, quick response to Guru Prakash. माधव जो बीजेपी जीएचएमसी लिमिट पर सिर्फ एक सीट जीती है इनका तीन एमपी सिटिंग एमपी इनका हारा है जिसने छत्तीसगढ़ में मध्य प्रदेश में राजस्थान में एक मुसलमान को टिकट नहीं दिया वो हमें मुसलमानों की ये बात करेगी यही इनका सबका साथ सबका विकास है जो माइनिटी बजट 40 परसेंट घटाया यही उनका सबका साथ सबका विकास है मोदी जी बतलाए की कि किस मुसलमान एक भी एमपी नहीं मुसलमान एक भी मिनिस्टर नहीं मुसलमान है मुसलमान होने का सर्टिफिकेट आदिल हुसैन जी बांटने वाले आप कौन होते हैं आप सर्टिफिकेट बांटने वाले होते हैं क्या आप अब्दुल कलाम जी से बेहतर मुसलमान है क्या तो अब्दुल कलाम जी से बेहतर मुसलमान है आप नहीं नहीं शांत रहिए आप शांत रहिए आप ऐसे नहीं होता है ऐसे ऐसे लोगों को लोगों को धर्म के नाम पे उन्माद मत फैलाइए आप ओके नहीं आप सर्टिफिकेट बांटने वाले होते हैं क्या ओके ओके कम्प्लीटली ऑल ऑफ टाइम डॉक्टर गुरु प्रकाश पासवान हैव टू कम एन ऑफ इट विल टोटली ऑल ऑफ टाइम अनुराग नायडू शुजात अली एडवोकेट आदिल हसन एंड रेखा राव वील हैव टू लिव इथ दैट वी हैव पर हैव नॉट हर्ड द लास्ट वर्ड येट ऑन दिस कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी रिमेन्स टू बी सीन इफ द ओथ टेकिंग सेरेमनी एक्चुअली टेक्स प्लेस एंड वेदर दिस बीजेपी लेजिस्लेटर्स आर पार्ट ऑफ दैट or not thanks so much for joining us this evening the news hour at 10 will be right back after the break